Alright guys, and welcome back to more Shin Megami Tensei Double Survivor 2, and here we are after pretty much preventing the Gyps and the Riot Terrors from pretty much fighting each other. I mean, they were fighting each other, but we pretty much stepped in and whooped everybody's ass. We cracked all the skills we wanted. We were able to crack uh, a mixture of... No, no, no. We were able to get Recarm, Strengthen... I think fire boost and force boost were the four skills we just got done cracking. And right now, what we want to do is pretty much just check out the events. There's nothing else we can do right now. There's no battle. Well, there's free battles, but there's nothing right now that we need to do that's taking primary, um, that's going to take up time. Well, I mean, it's going to, everything takes up time, but there's no battle that we need to get to there's no urgency there's no urgent matter we need to attend to there we go <laughs> and right now i guess what we'll do is just start from the top of the list a uh, familiar man is looking at you oh we meet again shining one oh it's this guy oh it's you oh it's you who else i wished to see you really Yamato Hotsuin continues to pull your strings. You're going to defeat Magres, no? Of course. That's right. A noble cause. You mustn't let yourself succumb to something like this. Magres seems to have sensed your response and has begun rising to the surface. Response? Its arrival is a serious threat to you, but also a chance at glorious victory. Who are you? Sorry. I thought I mentioned that. I am the Anguished One. I seek to know what mindset you will all arrive at. No, who are you? What are you doing? The tragedy that befell you was sudden. Even I was upset at its beginning. That is why I followed my own path and gave you the power to fight for your future. So, he's the one who created Nicaea. Nicaea? Indeed. I created Nicaea to grant you awareness of your fated deaths. What kind of power do you have to be able to allow people to see into the future, dude? I gave you the summoning app as a means to evade them. Even so, the potentials they awakened within you far exceeded my expectations. I hadn't expected that the power I gave you would allow you to slay even them. The Serpentine Awusiwatis? <laughs> The Septentrions, yes. <laughs> In truth, I am at a loss. They are swords of the divine. For humans to defeat them is astounding. You didn't consider it? Is it so surprising? That very sentiment proves that you come from a position of freedom. I, however, I know that the Septentrions are but a tool of a greater will. What do you mean? Is something worse? You know what? Let's say, what do you mean? That's all for now, Shining One. Walk the path you believe in. I will be watching over you. No, I don't want to choose an ending. I want a definitive ending, yo! I wanted a definitive ending! The man disappears. Who or what could he be? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Wait, this is not Dragon Ball Z. Anyway, it's 1300 o'clock and we are just going to go down the list. Dig digga 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 do omote sando dancing with Eo. Define Eo lost in thought. Hmm. If that's the case. Boo! <laughs> Should I do it? Yeah, boo! Uh, oh, it's you. You surprised me. Drive by. <laughs> Is something wrong? Oh, well, I was just thinking. You know how our summoning app lets us control demons? Yeah. We don't really know anything about what demons actually are. I've summoned demons so many times just to stay alive. I think we should give it some more thought. Sure, I'll help. Thanks. The demons first showed up when this calamity started, right? That's about right. I get the feeling they must have something to do with the cause. Hey, where do you think demons are when they're not summoned? The demon realm. 
They disappeared. They're somewhere. Hmm. They're somewhere. Oh, I see. Then maybe it's better to ask, how do they appear so quickly when we summon them? How should I know? It's a mystery. Yeah, that's the part I can't figure out. One moment they're not here, and the next... Well, there they are. How can that happen? Haven't you watched Naruto? Where Naruto gets sent to the summoning realm of the frogs? That's where the frogs are when they are not summoned. And then when they are summoned, they appear wherever Naruto is. Come on. You gotta watch anime, yo. <laughs> kind of like the terminals. Oh, yeah. Kind of like the terminals. Yeah. I guess it is pretty similar. Using the terminal, you can be in Tokyo one minute, and then Osaka the next. For someone in Osaka, it would seem like you magically appeared. Good thinking, Eo. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. But how does the terminal work then? Who knows? Why not ask around? We should ask around, yo. Fumi might know. Oh, right. I could just ask someone in Gyps. Let's see. Who in Gyps would know about the terminals? Maybe Fumi? Exactly. Yeah, I'm sure Fumi would know. I'll ask the next time I see her. Alright, I'll help. Thanks. I'm sure we can figure it out if we keep investigating. Let's give it a try. Gotta investigate. Gotta get that scoop for Leia's uh, newspaper. Oh, wait. You say your farewells to Eel and leave the area. Wrong game. <laughs> Alright, we left the game, or we left the area, and a new demon is available in the au demon auction. So we're just getting demons throughout the day. Oh, you know what? It's basically notifying me that there's probably like an update in the auction. And there's a new demon in the auction that I can get. Not necessarily a new demon altogether that I'm allowed to summon, but just every 30 minutes. I guess there's an update, and then it was a new demon that was never in the auction before. So we can get a dangerous stare. And I'm not really all about that life right now. We'll worry about that later. Alright, so we got the interrogation, we got dance practice, we got the terminal. We got we can check out a lot of things right now. We can check out a few things. Let's go to What's, that? What's on top? Interrogation? I guess we're gonna check out the interrogation. We find Yamato in a hallway behind the clock. Ah, you've come. I'm sorry to have made you seek me out. What about Migrez? The countermeasure isn't yet prepared, but it won't take long. Let's talk. Let's talk. I dislike excessive preambles. What did that man tell you? Really? You, you really wanna know? That stripely dude? I don't know. The one who told you about Magrez in Tokyo. <laughs> Why did he appear to you? You sound jelly. <laughs> I wondered that myself. So you can think of no reason why. Would you consent to tell me about him? You tell Yamato about the... What is that? Enigmatic man you met in Tokyo. I probably... No, I'm pretty sure I didn't say that right. Enigmatic... There's almost certainly no mistake, then. Do you know him? <laughs> Do not concern yourself. You'll find out eventually. I feel like Yamato's jelly. He wanted to be able to talk to the anguished one. If he is who I think he is, you'll see him again. Do not let your guard down. His powers are tremendous. If you put your trust in him, he'll lure you in. Who is he? I guess I'll just agree. Very well. There's nothing more you need to know at this point. All right. To be perfectly frank, I have a high opinion of you all. To think that amongst ignorant civilians, there would be those capable of standing against the Septentrions. Why are you gotta call us ignorant, though? Especially you. You have a knack for drawing out your friend's strengths. You're an intriguing one. Perhaps even dangerous. Bruh. Is that a compliment? Huh. I suppose it is. You have my admiration. 
I'm interested to see just how much you can achieve. Dismissed. Yamato seems rather amused as he turns to leave. Alright. Let's check out the terminal. Jungle and the cat. Irish style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Let me save it. Because there's. I definitely want to be able to check out some of these other events. Because we, we most likely won't be able to look at every single event. So I'm going to save here right now. And we're going to watch the terminal and see what this one is about. You find Eo talking to Fumi. Um, aren't you that girl who was with what's his face? Need something? <laughs> what's his face? Uh, um, well. What's up? Someone say my name? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, oh, you surprised me. I do that a lot. Oh, hello. What's this one's name again? Sorry, my memory is taken up with important things. Wow! She's Eo, that's kind of mean, you know. Ah, right, right. Mio, that was it. No, Eo. It, it's Eo. Eo Nita. Oh. Are you sure? Well, whatever. <laughs> I think she would know her own name, Fumi. <laughs> Holy hell. Uh, anyways, I came to ask about the terminal. About how it works. Mm-hmm. Remember we talked about how when demons are summoned, it's a lot like using the terminal. That's why you're here? You want to know how the terminal works. We want to increase our knowledge. We want to increase our intelligence so we can do more magical damage. We're very curious about it. <sighs> Fine. The terminal wasn't completely developed in-house by Gyps. I thought so. It runs off Oparts, passed down through the Chief's family. Oparts? His ancestors were missionaries to Tang China during the Nara period. Oh, right. Oparts means historical artifacts that are too advanced for the period in which they were found. The one powering the terminal is interesting because of the neutral oscillation in particle physics is that it she can cause. Are you stripping every time you try to explain something about history? When amplifying the power to a certain level, a physical change occurs in certain affected matter. Uh, put your clothes back on. Whoa, slow down. <laughs> Whoa, slow down there, girl! Uh, did I say something strange? What about that didn't you understand? You were just going too fast. Um, everything? Really? <laughs> Same here. I was already simplifying it for you. Um, could, could you explain it in a really basic way? Give us an example. Bottom line it for us. <laughs> Alright, I could try. It breaks matter's data down into teeny tiny matter bits, changes those bits into a signal, and sends it flying through the air. Then, the receiver uses those teeny tiny bits and rebuilds the matter into normal sized bits. Ugh, this sounds so stupid when put in such general terms. What nonsense. I get it now. Yeah, I think I understand now too. It's like the Stargate. But is breaking a person down into information even possible? Breaking them down into data bits. Hmm. Of course. Everything in this world is made of matter based on information. DNA? Right. Exactly. More than half your body is hydrogen. 25% oxygen, 10.5% carbon, and... Um, we've heard all we need to, right? <laughs> it's getting late, and we should go. <laughs> he was like, I'm not about this life. Thus, of the 29 elements in your body, 98.4% is composed of these four. The remaining 1.6, well... Fumi drones on and on and on and on! Let's get out of here. Yeah. You can quietly sneak away with Eo. <laughs> nope, you Dr. Edegawa sounding ass girl. We out of there. We are not. Nah. -uh. Nope. We ain't. Nope. 
We ain't messing with her no more, dude. So let's see. We got Demon Origins. We got the dance practice, and we got Kate's family. Let's check out those two really quick. I just want to check them out, and then we're gonna reload and probably choose whatever one that takes priority. So let's check out Kate's family. Index Osaka. Keita and Hinako are arguing. What the heck was that just now? What was what? We had a deal. I fight the demons on the right, you fight the demons on the left. So? So, why go after all of them? It's much safer if we work together. Those mooks were pushovers. What if something comes up that you can't deal with alone? Yeah, sure. Don't pretend you and I are in the same league. How dare you, you smug little... Ugh! All right, everyone, calm down. Kata, you can't charge off like that, bro. I destroyed the demons, didn't I? What are you bitching about? Bro. Were you raised by wolves or something? Seriously, I'd like to have a word with your folks. You gotta learn, you gotta learn strategy, homie. You can't just be grinding it out all the time. What did you say? Yeah, that's right, I said you can't be grinding it out all the time. Oh, what? I don't have parents. My mom and my old man are long gone. Uh, oh. I'm sorry. I take it back. You don't get it, do you? Huh? I'm glad they're gone. Being alone makes you tough. If you don't have family, you must at least have some friends. Yeah, if I was some weakling. Damn. Bro, you got 20 strength and okay agility. You ain't all of that. You need to go size and walks away. You too. If you mess with me, I'm taking you down, got it? Bruh, you wouldn't even be able to surpass me in speed because you know what? I got 20 agility thanks to Tailwind and my magic is so sky high, your vitality wouldn't even be able to protect you from my mentality. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'll blast you with my mind. I got magic. I got magic and I can blast you away with rhythm bars, son. I can blast you away. All right? You don't want none of this, Kata. Kata walks away in a foul mood. Bruh. All right. So we just got done yelling at Kata about how bad we would whoop him up. And now what we want to do is look at dance practice. Hinako is dancing. Oh, it's you. Were you watching me? Of course, girl. Don't stop on my account. <laughs> Thanks. It's easier to practice when I have an audience. Really? It must be really easier when you have a private audience. You know what I'm saying? I've been studying a lot of belly dance lately. I'm also practicing hip hop, tap, and salsa. A lot of different styles. Oh, do you know how to twerk? That's a lot. Do you do, you do the guacamole? Yeah, but it's tough. You have to peel the avocado and it gets all gross and stuff. <laughs> you do know I'm the only one that would go along with that joke, right? <laughs> I started with traditional Japanese dance. My parents are the head of the Kujo style. Kujo! Then I danced anything I could get my hands on and feet on from all over the world. Do the nay nay. Dancing helps take my mind off other things. I bet. Irie walks over. Are you still dancing, Hina? Of course. Hey, want me to teach you? Want me to teach you the Dougie? <laughs> Do the stanky leg. Come on, Hinako. You know all that shit. <laughs> uh, no thanks. Not interested. Why not? Because I don't have time for that. The world's falling apart. All you're doing is spinning in circles. Really, Irie? Spinning in circles? There's way more to it than that. Look, I'll show you. Still not interested. Dance is meaningless anyways, right? You little shrew! Nope! <laughs> hey, dance totally has meaning, right? Dance can have a lot of meaning. Dance doesn't have much meaning. I'm sorry I was distracted by this skin. Dance can have a lot of meaning. <laughs> Told you, short stack. It really can, though. It's an expression. Just careful around you. He doesn't want to unleash the Osaka rage. You just don't get it. Dance can be super useful. Like... Like? Uh, you know, like martial arts, son. Um, 
exercise. Yeah, dancing helps you stay in shape. Also allows you to dodge attacks. Fighting demons is enough exercise for anybody. Anything else? Entertainment. Sh shut up. If you get fat, don't come crying to me for dance lessons. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to get fat. I have a fast metabolism. You might be more susceptible. <laughs> I'm never going to get fat. Never. She's going to get fat. You decide to back away and leave them to their argument. Alright, so after hanging out with Hinako and Keita, we are going to look at some other stuff. You know what? We might as well just go ahead and look at maybe... You know what? Let's go to Demon Origins. You find Eo staring off into space. Hey, wake up! What? Oh, it's you. I was, um... Just trying to sort out what Fumi told us about the terminals. Oh, let me help you. Really? <laughs> That'd be a great help. Thank you. Yup. So I brought over these Stargate DVDs to help explain this. Um, we can start with what Fumi said about everything boiling down to information. Oh, we, we can do that too. We don't have to watch these Stargate DVDs on my portable DVD player. The terminal can transport people because we're information too, right? Yup. Right. So, what about demons? Them too, I think. Good. That's what I thought too. I mean, demons appear out of thin air, right? Wouldn't that suggest their data is received from somewhere and recreated here? Yeah. Whew. <laughs> I'm glad you agree. If it is true, where would demon's information come from? The internet. Good question. Yeah. When the terminal sends people, there's a specific departure and arrival point. Then, are demons somewhere else before they're summoned by the app? That may be. Hmm. We can't say for sure because there's no way to confirm it. What if they're all related? The demon's home? The disaster's cause, and the Septentrions. Hmm, I wonder, what is there that connects them all? Eel seems to be lost in thought. Oh, sorry. Um, I'll think about it some more. We still don't know a whole lot, but I think we made some progress. Thanks. No problem. You say your farewells to Eel and leave the area. Bigga 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 bib bib. Apps and muggers. Hey, apps and muggers. Apps and muggers. Apps and muggers. I guess we're gonna do that just now. Since we have nothing else to do, we're going to pretty much save our data. And get ready to do the app and mugger battle. So let's do it. You find Eo and Daichi at a street corner distributing something from a truck. Give me some, please. I'm about to starve. Me too. I haven't eaten in days. Damn. Please, no pushing. Don't worry, th there's enough to go around. Um, only one per person. I'm sorry. What are you doing? It looks like fun. <laughs> huh? Oh, hi. Perfect timing, dude. Can you help get these people to form a line? Sure. Thanks, it's a huge help. This is getting much crazier than we thought. It's just too much for the two of us. Um, a lot of people don't have anything to eat. Right, we went over this a few episodes ago. That's why I suggested sharing a little of the Jip's food. Hi. Right. Is that okay? It sure isn't. This has to be kept secret, especially from Makoto. Whoa! What are we gonna do? I didn't think this would get so out of hand. Out of the way! I'll kill you if I have to! Whoa. <laughs> hey, something's going on over there. This food's ours now. Or do you want me to sick my demons on you? Really? <laughs> <laughs> what should we do? 
They have summoning apps. The food. We fight <gasps> back. We can fight back. Come on, no need to be scared. The people who are crowded, or the people who had crowded around, start to panic. Ha! We got the food. <laughs> Not for long, assholes. The group that stole the food runs off. No, oh, bastards. They took off with the food. What do we do? How did we let that happen? Hurry after them. R right. We can't let them get away with this. Eo runs off. Whoa, uh, uh, wait, wait a sec, Eo. I'm coming too. Damn it. I wanted to pass out supplies so I wouldn't have to fight. Daichi runs after Eo. What do you mean, dumbasses? You're about to get smoked. You're about to get incinerated. So drop the food, homie. Huh? Yeah. Oh man. You guys, keep those bastards from getting too close. All right. So we gotta pretty much That'll prevent them from escaping. Escape around the back. You got it. Time to run home, kiddies. Crap, crap, crap! What are we gonna do? Maybe we should just give up. No, we don't give up, homie. We... we can't give up. People need that food. We have to stop them. Eo? Eo? Damn it. You're a feisty one, eh? I guess I might have to give you a little scare then. Really? There you idiots are. Hey, things are starting to get interesting. Don't let them escape. 